First, we'll see if it's on. Turn your meter on. Turn it to AC volts. In this case, I have two choices. 200 and 750. I'm going to turn it up to 750 in case uh, it's higher than 200. Stick one probe over here, one over here, and see if you have any reading on there. It has double zeros. I did turn off the power to this outlet. Now start taking off everything. First, pull it out like this after you get everything loose. After you get the screws loose, pull it out like that. You don't want to take the screws clear out because they're made to only go part way. Just touch it to make sure it's off. Take all the screws loose. Okay, now get your needle nose pliers. Take these off. You might have to use your screwdriver to loosen up some of the connections. In this case, uh, water has run down here and it has affected some of these connections. Now you want the wire, you want these wires to wrap around the screw in the right direction. Um, in this case, 
all these screws they turn to loosen uh, they turn counterclockwise to tighten they go clockwise and you want the wire to also go around the screw clockwise because I'm going to tighten them it's kind of difficult to see but there are numbers on here and it's going to tell you which number to use for your wire um, try one of the bigger ones first I'm going to try the third one down which would be from this point down to here the third one and I want this wire to wrap around the screw so I'm going to have to go about five-eighths of an inch There you go, I stripped it. And that was the right number. Okay, I don't want it quite this long, so I can use these cutters. There's cutters up here at the top, right there. I can use them to cut this. six to eight inches the next thing I'm gonna do is strip this end the third one down five-eighths of an inch you kinda of have to twist it like this to make sure it cuts and then pull it off now you can buy very fancy wire um, there are crimpers at the top here and then these are wire strippers down here and wire cutters in the middle also it has these holes I have no idea what those are for <laughs> but these cost maybe about five dollars uh, you can go probably as high as forty I'm not sure I'm not sure how much the real expensive ones are alright the th next thing I'm gonna do take my um, needle nose make a circle okay I decided to do something different because uh, it'll save me a lot of time I'm going to knock this out this is a, uh, called a knockout for good reason and take your needle nose twist it out cable connectors as they're called These are half inch. Take this uh, ring off. Right here. I'll put this cable connector in here. This ring is a nut. Put it back on. Take your screwdriver and turn that ring with your screwdriver and tighten it. Now we're going to tighten this ring here.
Now we're going to have to put a couple screws in here. Make sure your uh, box looks level and plumb. Drill hole, pilot hole. Drive home. Put a little wax on it. Make sure it's secure. I got the electricity shut off and this all this stuff has to go back in here. Well, it looks kind of funny, but I put this extension on and I used extra long screws to reach from here 
back to this box back here. I didn't have enough room in this box so I put this extension on and this extension is uh, three quarters of an three quarters of an inch. So we'll put it back together. Turn this on, turn your meter on. Okay, it says 122, 123, 122. 122 and 122 so it's good to go